All right, welcome back. I'm Bill Westlake, and this is Lag Demon Programming, and we're working here on the Dungeon Crawl game. Uh, in our previous video, we set up this command, and uh, we started creating commands like the go command. And uh, the way this currently works is when we create the command, we pass in a pointer to the game and the player and so forth, and we, uh, we retain <coughs> that information uh, in the command. Well, I did that for two reasons, to give you an idea about some ways that pointers can be used. Uh, but I want to tell you, this is not really the best way to do this. Uh, there are better ways of doing it. And what we're going to do this uh, in this video is refactor our command structure a little bit uh, and uh, make it a little bit more robust and less error prone. And we're going to do that by not saving pointers. And I'm going to show you how that's done. So first thing we're going to do is open up our, you know what, let me close all this uh, other stuff here that we're not dealing with. We want the go command. Uh, and I think we've also got a quit command, right? Um, we can close game for now. And let's also open up the quit command. Uh, because those are the only two commands we've got right now. Yes. And so let's refactor this. So the first thing I'm going to do in command is I'm going to take out these pointers from here. I'm just going to control X that. And down here in execute, I'm going to put these in here, except I'm going to change them from pointers to ampersand. Uh, or in other words, a reference. Now, this is... Uh, <coughs> Uh, the uh, dungeon crawl game and the player a uh, command might have to make modifications to those so we don't want them to be constants uh, and uh, the error is fine and <clears throat> we're going to uh, remove these we're not going to save them we're just going to have a command that we fire up it doesn't when we when we create the command it has a default constructor and does not require uh, uh, anything. In fact, we can actually eliminate this and just let the uh, uh, let the system create the default constructor. Now we need to refactor the go command uh, because we no longer want to take uh, this in. Uh, we don't even want to take the room in. Uh, to the command and we don't need this and in fact we don't need the constructor at all because it'll create a default constructor but in execute here is where we need these the game the player and <coughs> here's the thing so we, we do have to send in some additional uh, information into execute. <clears throat> so there's a couple of ways we can do that, but in this case, we know <clears throat> that it's always, uh, these, are, these parameters are always gonna be strings and our command will convert them as necessary because that's what we're typing in. <clears throat> and we're creating a, a series of strings that go to it. So what we're gonna do is here, extend a standard string array mm, oh yeah and it's going to be called params uh, expected a parentheses standard string params array there we go so here in the go command, this execute also needs to take in that standard string params array. Now, there's no longer an underscore game. There's now just a game. And it's no longer a pointer. It's a reference. So this just becomes game dot find room. And this becomes player dot set room. And that's where it's modifying it. Uh, append well except there's no room right oh we've got these up here we can't have these anymore 
<laughs> can get rid of this too. There's no longer an underscore room. What this uh, this thing knows or believes is that the first one of these is going to be the room. So what we can do is check that up here. Um, <clears throat> we can't do this null pointer check either. We'll get to this. Well, that's a room pointer. Yeah, we can do that. So what we'll do is we'll go standard string room equals uh, params sub zero because we're not going to send the command as part of it. That's supposed to be standard. <laughs> so that takes care of room. So we're going to find the room. Okay. Um, and so we know this takes at least one parameter. So <clears throat> another thing we can do here is check for errors, but we'll come to that. Now this room pointer is okay as a pointer for now. We, we may refactor that later and, and return a reference to it. Um, room why doesn't it like this oh because I called it room uh, we'll call this room name okay and we'll call this room name and then the room is this room pointer and we'll set the room and return true and now we no longer have the uh, uh, error string ah the error string was something that was supplied uh, so we can just uh, command dot h and so for this so that we can deal with commands possibly in an abstract way how do we want to handle error? So this is going to be room name. Uh, but we need to have this. Oh, we've got the error output thing down here. So all we need, yeah, all we need here is this. Uh, we can add that into, into here as protected. We can still have a standard string underscore error that's fine and that's all fixed and everything else should be this is taking in a pointer now for command.parse <coughs> and command.parse we also don't want to do this as a pointer we want to do it as a reference <coughs> um, and Command string go command. Oh, new go command. <clears throat> so actually, because we don't need to do anything to construct it, what we can do now is return a command reference and this command reference can be a constant and no we can't let me think about this we still have a command well in a way a command pointer is not a big deal we'll just return a new go command and then we'll have to pass that in so we need to refactor we'll do Refactoring one step at a time, we may refactor the way this works too, but it's best to do one set of operations at a time. So here's our quit command, and it's fairly simple. Again, we don't need a constructor. We can just leave the default constructor because we're not doing anything. Uh, we move the error up to the command level, and execute now needs to take in those same things. Oops. It needs to take in all this here, even though we're yeah we're only using game. So then this becomes game dot quit, 
and these become references. And there's our line and we no longer need this. It is the default constructor and return a quit command. Now we need to go back over to where we're handling that, which was in, was it in uh, dungeon crawl game, right? And here's, that's connect rooms. No, 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 not in dungeon crawl game. Uh, Dungeon crawl dot cpp no dungeon crawl game dot cpp there it is okay so uh, <clears throat> so we want to dereference this and for the moment we're going to just dereference player the thing is where are we getting player from here in the dungeon crawl game we're implementing it with a pointer to a player so we'll dereference that we'll dereference this we'll dereference this and execute now we have to supply these but we don't want to supply the command we want to supply the command minus that first thing as an array of these bits so that's where we use our split right so that was in so parse was doing that up here so let's go to uh, let's go to go command first so we're, we're getting this split here uh, Actually, this is something, the split is something we could uh, pass into the command, perhaps. But we can do it. We can do that up here. Uh, and that would be splitting it twice. <clears throat> so maybe we'll send in a, uh, a string array into these <clears throat> parser, parsers. Let's go back to here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go back to here first. And let's do this say string oh, standard string uh, what do we call them uh, uh, well they are lexans <laughs> array equals oh no it's a vector so I didn't want to send in a standard vector words and this is going to be command so actually let's go quickly change all that command dot h we don't want this to be an array we want it to be a vector and we need to include vector here and we probably need to include string as well So that's going to be a vector. Let's go back to our go command and make that uh, no. Go command. That's the parse. Oh, uh, it's got to be in both both places. I guess it should be here too. We'll change that later. We'll we'll get this half working first. <clears throat> um, params. We can still grab param sub zero. Quit command. Change this to a vector of string. But it doesn't matter. It's just got to take it to be able to run. All right, back to here. We split this into words. <clears throat> then uh, we want to go. Uh, We'll call them, uh, we'll make it a, another vector. 
called params equals okay so what we're gonna do is uh, uh, split those words <coughs> so that we get the full list of words uh, we're gonna copy those words into another vector we're gonna call params and then we're going to call params.erase params.begin, which will remove the first element, which is the command. And then we can also uh, have a uh, have a uh, uh, command. And what we're going to do here also is change our parse later to not do the split and just take the uh, command plus the parameters. So let's create another one here. Standard string command equals... Uh, and we're going to call this the command string and we'll split the command string and the command will be the first one of words and words sub zero will be the command so then uh, we're going to not pass in well yeah I'm not sure I want to refactor that right at the moment uh, command is just the command word yeah let's go back to parse and fix those we'll look at the uh, go command first so down here on parse uh, instead of taking this string that's the whole line what we're going to do is take a standard string called the command and a standard colon colon vector standard string that we're going to call the params and why doesn't it like that standard oh I missed a thing here params okay so we don't have to split the line anymore um, <clears throat> we don't have to do this anymore or this all we really want to look at is that command equal to go uh, new command Otherwise, we'll return a null. If it's not the go command, we'll just return a null. So that simplified that a lot. The quit command can be done the same way. Let me copy this. We'll go to the quit command. Go down here. Replace this. <coughs> simplify this. We can get rid of this. We can get rid of this. We don't need this. We don't need this. <clears throat> and now it's the command. Command equals quit. New quit command. Otherwise, we return null. Okay. Now we'll go back to our dungeon crawl game and fix this all up. So we've already split this down. So we've got our command going in and we need our params params into the parse and params here and then down here when we execute we need to send in uh, this this and command in params uh, well actually execute the command just needs the params right we can get rid of this and let's see if it actually compiles we'll go up here to uh, build and build solution <clears throat> see if we got any errors and build succeeded so let's run it and see if our commands work <clears throat> well let's try quit first quit works it finds it and let's try uh, go uh, go what was it store go start 
and those both seem to work. So that's a little bit cleaner now. We've cleaned up the use of some of these pointers and we're going to move this back a little bit. There's still uh, in this kind of a th situation going to be the need for some kinds of pointers and at, at a future time we're going, but I, I did this, I wanted to keep this as simple as possible to be understandable. We're going to add some additional capabilities to it and as we do that these pointers could become problematic and so we're going to start switching over to using smart pointers and we'll do that in another video uh, so there we go that refactoring is done uh, and now what we want to do is think about some additional commands that we want like uh, <clears throat> do we have an info command we have a go command but if we just want to see what's in the room, what the room is, uh, maybe we could uh, have a show command that just tells us about the room that we're immediately in. So let's create that. We'll create one more command. Add uh, new item. We'll use my MIT header class here and we'll call this uh, the show command and we don't need the CPP file so there's the show command CPP we'll go ahead and delete it remove and delete it if you just click remove on that by the way it'll still be on your file system but it'll no longer be part of the solution so our uh, our show command uh, let's go back to our go command and take a look at what we pulled in here so string and command so here's our show command so we need these header files and the show command is going to be public command and we don't need this but we need to implement a couple of things we need an execute an error and a parse so let's get those from here and we'll just uh, change them. Show command. Let's put those in. <clears throat> so we're still uh, getting the room name. Uh, we're finding the room and but we're not going to call player set room. Uh, what we're going to do is call room dot. Uh, we'll, we'll go standard. Ah, for this we're going to need IO stream. And now our our room that we found here. Okay, that's a pointer. So we're going to go standard C out from pointer room standard and Dell return true and handle our error. The error will be the same. The parse though will be show command and only if this is show and this doesn't need any additional parameters uh, oh a little problem there show command all right so let's try it see if it works <clears throat> it gets very simple to uh, show uh, oh well we didn't add the command <coughs> dungeon crawl game uh, Here's, here's our next point. We can go temp equals uh, show command parse. Oops. Show command parse. I do have a parse, right? Show command parse. Yep. Dungeon grow. Oh, we got to include it. <clears throat> And, uh, uh, yeah, this has to be pointer this, <clears throat> pointer player, and uh, command, and P. 
params. We have to pass it in even though it doesn't need any params. Uh, there shouldn't be anything there. We should be able to run it now. And we should be able to type in show. Hmm. Okay. Okay, this pattern is wrong here. I got some bad logic here. Um, <clears throat> that's fine. <clears throat> Temp is still going to be a null pointer. <clears throat> Temp equals show command. Uh, yeah, this isn't this isn't what I want to do. If temp equals null pointer, we want to do this. And coming right down here, we want to go. Command equals temp. And there's probably a better way to do that, but. And we got a uh, an exception of some kind. Subscript out of range. Oh, we don't want a room name. And we don't want to do find room. Uh, we want to go room equals player dot Actually, this is even simpler. Player dot print room C out, and that really uh, should not cause any error. We don't want this. This is not room. This is just player dot print room, and return true. Okay, show, and there's the current room. If we say go, store, well, it prints it when we come into it, but if we type show, it also prints it. So there you go. That's how we uh, can add a command. We did some refactoring. Uh, we got some uh, uh, things working a little bit better uh, and a little more cleanly. We're starting to use references instead of pointers, which is much better. It's also better to use constant references if you can, uh, if you don't need to make modifications. But some of these commands will have to, and this is done in uh, done through some abstractions, so we can't pick and choose. In this case, however, uh, the nice thing about a, any reference is it's guaranteed to not be null. It can't be null. You'll you'll have an error somewhere else. Now, in this case, we're converting a pointer into a reference. Uh, that's okay in this case. Uh, we know what we're doing, but uh, there's better ways to do that even. But like I said, I'm trying to keep things as simple as possible to understand concepts and principles rather than the fine points of uh, of software design at this stage. However, we will be getting into uh, much better software design uh, as we move through this process. So uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you really, if you uh, liked it, hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to get notifications when I upload videos, uh, hit that uh, uh, notify button. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.